bro, you're such a nerd. Beautiful. There we go. That's how we started. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. Bring us in, Ben. Yeah. Let's go. So, welcome back. Already distracted. Please. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Please indulge on our distracted conversation. <laughs> we. Oh yeah. We have an amazing agenda. All right. Today. So. Before you get too far into uh, what's going on here, uh, oh, it is oh, done. Yes, Let's Devin see it. will be receiving this trophy, able to paint part of it however oh, he wants. My the Let's toast. Go. The toast. That looks sweet, man. Um, so I'm gonna cut these sides off. Oh, okay. And then I'm gonna uh, sand it because it's like rounded on the bottom. Describing to because that's how that's just how the print works, right? Well, just audio only. So and there a, is a curly white piece of bread. Our bread trophy. It's beautiful. It's on a stand, and it's quite mm. glorious. And so glorious. Devin, um, yes. Other than I'm gonna have Brooke. Um, let me see if I can get the glare. There we go. I'm gonna have Brooke. She, she just got resin paint. I'm gonna have her paint already distracted right here. Oh. But other cool than that, thing. you pick a section of this bread and you paint it however you would like do put whatever you want on it um try and keep it friendly enough that we can keep it in the videos (laughs) Uh, Um, i wanted to put the bobs on there i knew you did (sighs) no no. (laughs) honestly i kind of like ben's idea i might just do master chief just because halo i'm gonna um when i I can get it trend frog yeah yeah so i'll trim it and then Devin, do you have sandpaper by chance Cause I don't. Uh, I got some. I might. Well, Devin's I'll the look. current trophy owner, so because I'm just gonna bring this to him tomorrow. I hey, you look. lost, Ben. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's it's shame, uh, shame, public also, shame. Also, for the record, <laughs> this is not hollow. Oh, Dang. solid. Yeah, this has got to weigh like oh. two or three pounds. It's a sturdy boy. There we go. Okay. Yeah, boy. I thought it was a hollow print, Some but it's not. Um, it used 260 milliliters of resin. I am out of white resin now. Uh, <laughs> well done. I, Good yeah. job. So, <laughs> Go team. Yeah. I'll just set that out of the way. Um, and Devin, I'll be bringing it to you tomorrow. I'm going to trim it today. But okay. right now, I'm just letting it sit in the window so it can cure better in the sunlight. Mm, Hopefully, smart. fingers crossed, by the end of this month, I can get a curing machine. So that I can just cure my stuff instantly. Today oh. has been cursed. Like absolutely, I have story time. Ben's house lit on fire. Yeah, there's a fire. His internet here. His <laughs> <laughs> electricity keeps going out. I woke up feeling like death. Luckily, I fell back asleep, and I'm feeling a lot better. But there we go. That's good. Yeah, I'm going off like four hours of sleep myself, so I'll be extra loopy for this one. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be so fun. <laughs> I got a story time, though. So the power keeps going out. Yeah, so what's the fire? Yeah, so the power keeps going out where I'm living. And every every hour, I was texting everyone, being like, hey, the power's out. I don't know what's going to happen. So it came back on, and I went, I'm a homemaker now, so I decide I make my own tortillas. So Delicious. Yeah. Beautiful. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Honestly. It's actually super easy to do. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually made a tortilla, but that does sound pretty Okay, but how did the fire start? Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, I kind of... It was around, like, noon-ish. I... The power came on, and I went, awesome, I'm gonna make my tortillas. They've been... They've been resting, so... Cooking my tortilla through the first one, power goes out. Again. I'm like, oh, crap. So what does one do when the power goes out on a Sunday? You take a nap. So I went, unbeknownst to me, not checking, I left the stovetop on, but the power went out. So I was like, oh, oh yeah. no. So I, I go lay in my bed, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, man, something smells like burnt popcorn. <laughs> so I get up, and <laughs> the oven's on, the stovetop's on, and there's just smoke. And oh no, oh Ben, it was oh don't do that. That's <laughs> it scary. Was so like rookie mistake, but oh, could have been a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, jock that up to a major whoopsies. Yeah, <laughs> whoopsie doodle. Oh. Lesson learned. Oh boy, 
Yeah, it was not good. Um, <laughs> well, I'm glad that turned out okay. That could have I know. sucked. <laughs> R- really bad. I'm the kind of person I realized in an emergency, I'm like super calm. Like more calm than you should be. I mean, that's, that's good though. Yeah, it's... Well, I walk in and I, I'm like, oh, my kitchen's on fire. Okay, I better put that out. Instead of like, huh, waking up my wife and this freaking out. I don't think she still doesn't know. So if she listens, <laughs> she'll find Can out. Can you guys hear the vacuum? <laughs> no. It's like, honey, I almost oh, okay, burned down the house. Yeah. Whoopsies. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Wait, sorry. <laughs> Again. Wrong movie. I... <laughs> Again. We... Well, first off, I'm glad you're alive. Thank you. Um, yes. I'm not I'm here. on fire or dead. <sighs> yeah, that'd be a really awkward next video. Be like, uh, so you're probably wondering why Ben's not here. Um, that fire story? Just... Uh, he died. <laughs> <laughs> just a pile of ash sitting in a freaking chair. Just, it's like... <laughs> just a short... <laughs> we still make him attend the episode? <laughs> my urn He's is still there just in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wild. Oh my gosh, that's grim. That's terrible. <sighs> Yeah. All right, Ben. Well, what do you have in store for us today? Speaking of fire, fireball, D and D. Woo, D and D. Fireball. Yeah. So I like D and D. It's my topic today, and I thought we would do a blast from the past, adding in with technology. Well, I guess D and D isn't really the past, but I found out at work we had like a, a free day. I, I got everything done early. I was on ChatGPT. I realized you can play D and D with ChatGPT, and it'll be oh. it'll be the DM, and you're just your character, and you just have conversations, and you can do whatever you want. We are gonna we're gonna play. I'm gonna read it out, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like popcorn almost. So. I said, growing up with my brothers all the time, when we'd have a long road trip, I don't know if anyone else did this. One person would start a story by a sentence, and then someone carries yep. it on. Yeah, so like, carries on the once upon a time, okay. there's a cat in a farm. And then the next person, that's what we're going to do, except... And then that farm got hit by a nuke, and everyone died. Yeah, don't be that guy. The end. <laughs> don't be that guy. <laughs> <No>. The end. <laughs> no, my I won't be that guy. But, that, but... <laughs> that's our very short example. Yeah, that's what we're gonna okay. do. Okay, I'm down. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Now, are you screen recording so they can see Chat GPT? Yep. Or so I'm just not gonna put that in. I there? just changed my screen so they can see it. Okay. Yeah. For, he showed me. Forgive my typing. It's a pretty good little setup. Okay. Cool. I feel super self conscious now. I figured you guys did, but. Okay. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I apologize. No, you're oh, good. Will you share screen on Discord as well so that me and Dev can? See, that. See, that's the problem. I have Discord on my phone. <gasps> You're on your phone! Yeah. That's okay. He can still read it. It'll be fine. Yeah. Fired! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm saving up for a camera. Unless we have a Patreon set up to help with new equipment. Not yet. Not yet. Eventually. <laughs> no. Nah, not yet. But eventually. Yeah. All of that will go towards making the channel better, though. Don't worry, guys. We're not. We're not. Yes. I'm gonna use it to buy a helicopter. Gonna steal yeah. I so want a golden yacht. We can record in the sky, obviously. Okay. Duh. For the channel. <laughs> want a golden yacht with a Lambo parked on it. Yeah, so that we can record our podcast in a Lambo on a yacht, obviously. Duh. Back into the chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shut up now, Ben. Go ahead and give it. Get it started. Okay, so I'm typing it out. This is, here is the prompt I figured out. So it's, if you want to do this at home, whoever's listening, but the prompt is, can we play a D&D story where I can choose options what to do next? Because if you don't do the options, it'll just give three paragraphs, and it's like, what do you want to do? And he's like, oh, I don't know. Oh, when you do the choose options, okay. it kind of gives you ideas, kind of like a framework it can work from. No, correct me if I'm wrong, but we also do not have to go with the options, right? No, no. The options are just there okay. to kind of set <laughs> set the mood. Get you in a, yeah. <laughs> no. so you, if you can't think, yeah, yeah, set the mood. But, mm. all right. Sorry. All right. All right, here we go. Right. I'm excited. So, it, it never says, played D&D this way, but... <laughs> 
absolutely. I'd be happy to help facilitate a text-based Dungeons and Dragons adventure. To get started, let's establish the setting. You find yourself in the bustling city of Eldoria, a vibrant hub of trade and magic. As you walk through the crowded streets, you notice a weathered bulletin board covered in various parchments and notices. One particular parchment catches your eye, inviting adventurers to explore the mysteries in yeah, oh, the mysterious and ancient forest of shadows. Beyond the city's outskirts, the promise of hidden treasures and untold secrets beckon you. So, there we go. Mm. It, the options it has, investigate the bulletin board, head to the local tavern, visit the market, or seek out a skilled guide. All right, mm. going first. Wow, it really oh, is like a D&D &D game. Leader. Yep. Do you want me to go first? Oh, just pick. Sure. I'll go first. Go for it. I'm going to say I head to the tavern. Whistling a fantastic and romantic tune. Romantic? Ooh. Does anyone notice me? <clears throat> okay, here we go. As you enter the lively tavern, the melodious tune you're whistling catches the attention of a few patrons. The atmosphere is filled with chatter, clinking mugs, and the warmth of crackling fireplace. As you make your way to the bar, a curious bard, sitting at the corner of a table, looks up and t from tuning his lute and gives you an appreciative nod. A seasoned barkeep with a bushy beard and a friendly grin approaches you. Well met, adventurer. I haven't heard of such fine tune in these parts for a while. What brings you to the Red Dragon Inn? Poor bard. All right, Taylor. What are we doing? Uh, I tell the bartender that the reason I am here is highly classified, but uh, it has something to do with a deep mission for the College of Bards. The barkeep raises an eyebrow at your mysterious declaration, clearly intrigued. A classified mission, eh? Well, you've piqued my interest. What can I do for you, brave agent of the College of Bards? The options are ask the barkeep if he knows any individuals who could help you on the mission, request local legends or stories, or fabricate a tale. Mm. You don't have to do that as if, if you're well, just stuck. To keep it going, I'm going to go ahead and say, let's ask him if there's anyone local who could help perhaps lead us to uh, the treasure or the, the hidden mysteries. You said something earlier, it was a, a forest, correct? Yeah, the, for the forest of shadows. I yeah, ask him if there's anyone who could guide us. Yeah, to the forest of shadows, yes. The barkeep scratches his beard thoroughly, considering your question. I, there might be someone who fits the bill. There's a ranger named Alara who, f who frequents this place. She's got a keen sense for the woods, a knack for unraveling mysteries. She's usually here in the evenings, enjoying a quiet drink. As he points to a corner table, you notice a lone figure, a woman with a hooded cloak and a bow strapped to her back, sitting alone, nursing a mug of ale. Well, that can't be her. Hmm. <laughs> Roll <laughs> investigation. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Are you ready for this? Yeah. So I walk over. Mm -hmm. To the figure. Oh, my typing's terrible. And say. That's okay. I'm gonna say, Alara, darling. <laughs> darling. Already getting the riz and charm up. I... Oh boy. <laughs> We're a bard, apparently, so. Wrap Pretty her up. Fruit. I'm gonna wrap her up in an embrace, give her a kiss, and tell her if she remembers me. Oh. I hope this goes okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wrap her up. No. The best way to get information is to gaslight. So Alara, initially caught off guard by the unexpected display of affection, quickly regains her composure. She looks at you with a raised eyebrow and a smirk. Well, well, well. If it isn't a blast from the past, remind me, stranger. Where do I know you from? All right, Taylor. Whew, that went better. I thought we were going to have a lawsuit going on there for a second. <laughs> Whew. This is Eldoria. You can do what you want within reason, under the safety guidelines of ChatGPT. 
You don't remember where we first met? <laughs> oh boy. Alara squints at you trying to recall, recall, recall the supposed shared history. After you a were? moment, she chuckles. All right, you got me curious. Where is it that we supposedly crossed paths? I got it. How could you forget? We met at ye old nightclub. <laughs> you were on the pole. <laughs> you were you were twerking. You were magically twerking in the corner. Oh, there you go. That gosh. is my response. You were <laughs> using. You gave me a happy lap dance. <laughs> no, 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 I'm drawing the line. I cast lap dance. No, no, leave, lap leave, dance. Leave, lap leave dance. Leave lap where dance. Devin left it. That was just a joke. <laughs> using magic. Dance. Dance. Exotically. There we go. There's certain words I don't think you can put, and it'll end the whole thing. Probably. Like twerking? Hey, that'll yeah. work. <laughs> hey, better be safe than sorry. Oh. Exotic dancing, I'll take it. <laughs> Alara's eyes widen in surprise and burst into laughter. A nightclub, you say? Exotic dancing with the magic? You have quite the imagination, my friend. I don't think I've ever set foot in a place like that. <laughs> the other patrons in the tavern glance over with some amused smiles as Alara shakes her head in disbelief. All right, you've got my attention. What's the real reason you're here, and what? Why the charade? I cast modify. Yes. I cast modify memory. <laughs> Slyly. You live in my world. <laughs> I own you. Just kidding. I cast modify memory slyly and create the memory of her at the nightclub dancing. And at the end, she threw up all over me. Oh, that's a bad way to end the night. All right, here we go. You cast Modify right. Memory subtly, altering Alara's re recollection. As the magic takes effect, her eyes glaze over for a moment, and then she blinks, looking slightly bewildered. Oh, that nightclub. She says with a hint of smile on her face. I must have had too much to drink that night. Sorry uh, about the mishap. The fabricated memory seems to have taken hold, and Al Alara now believes the fantastical nightclub encounter. Anyway, she continues. What brings you? What brings you here after all these years? And what's this about a forest and mysteries? You know what I think is so funny? She was totally on board, and then you're still like, nah, we're jamming this into your brain. <laughs> no, you're reason. remembering what I make you remember. There's a reason. Be ready for this. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. So, I tell her that, well, after you threw up all over me, you said you owed me a favor, free of charge. So, oh. I requested you to guide us through this forest. Big brain. I'm here to pay, uh, accept the favor payment. <laughs> Very smart. That's big brain energy, Taylor. That is big well brain. done. Take notes, kids, when you play D&D. Take notes. I've played a lot Don't of D&D like in me. my time. Give me Don't play like me. Lara's eyes widen in surprise, and then she bursts into laughter. <laughs> well, I suppose I owe you a favor for enduring that night, don't I? A guide through the Forest of Shadows, you say. You've got yourself a deal. With a playful smirk, she adds, Just hope the forest isn't as wild as the nightclub was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, we risen her up. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, is that, oh, is that oh, what you want me to goodness. tell her? Hey, it's your turn, Dad. Oh, no, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, oh, beautiful. Uh, <laughs> no, no, sorry. Uh, tell her... Tell her, uh, fantastic. Let's head over to the local smithy and gather some supplies for our adventure. Of course you'll be paying for them. <laughs> yeah, actually, yes, and yes, you're paying for them. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay. Yes. Yes. She's definitely paying for it. We are equal opportunity on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> equal rights, equal fights. That's not equal opportunity. That's, uh, <laughs> exploitation. <laughs> Taylor, she doesn't have to know that. You're right. She thinks she owes us for her keeping <laughs> on us, which didn't happen. 
Alara chuckles at your confident demeanor and the mention of her ping. You're a bold one, aren't you? All right, I suppose a guide should be well equipped. Lead the way to the smithy and we'll get what we need. You and Alara make your way through the bustling streets of Eldoria to the local smithy. The blacksmith, a burly dwarf with a fiery beard, greets you as you enter. Whoa, how'd you do that? I got I got Gosh, the fireworks again. <laughs> oh, the fireworks. I really need to start screen recording some how of these. How do you have that? I don't know. <laughs> it just happens. What if I do it again? Yeah, I, I don't know. Man, that was way too easy. I can't believe she's just like, yeah, okay, you're kind of cute. Let's go. Come oh, on. just wait. <laughs> Good evening, fine sir. I say cheerfully. I would like to buy everything in this shop. I look at Alaire and mouth the words, you owe me. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Altered her memory. Now she's going to be in debt for the rest of her life. This is going great. You can alter her memory again to think that she tried to kill us. No, oh, there we go. Oh, okay, let me read it. This, this person. Okay. The dwarf blacksmith's eyes widen at your extravagant request. Everything in the shop, you say? Well, that's quite the purchase. Are you sure about this? Alara, catching your playful gesture, smirks and rolls her eyes before joining the conversation. Don't worry, my friend. Oh, don't worry. My friend here has a flair for the dramatic. We'll take what we need for a journey into the Forest of Shadows. With a more reasonable list in mind, you and Alara discuss the necessary equipment with the blacksmith, including sturdy weapons, durable armor, and the essential survival gear. Oh no! No, nah, man. Okay. We gotta buy that Ooh. shop. <laughs> no, Ben, you froze and we thought your, you, we thought your power went out. Oh no. Right, for just a second. Do you have to reread that? How dare she? No, we're good. We're oh, good. okay. No. How dare she cheap out on us? How rude. All right, Taylor. Uh, I turn and yell at her that she's a liar and cast Witch Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Murder hobo. She said she'd buy a, whatever we requested. Uh, the sudden outburst and aggression... Uh, aggressive action catch both the blacksmith and Alara off guard. The blacksmith ducks behind the corner, startled while Alara, your supposed ally, looks at you with shock and confusion. The patrons in the smithy gasp and step back, creating a circle of space around the unexpected confrontation. Damn it. I have to do it. I have to. Oh, what's going on? Cast thunderclap. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I cast Thunder Wave at Alara, disregarding the patrons in the shop. The sudden burst of magical energy erupts from your hands, creating a powerful shockwave that reverberates through the smithy. Alara, caught in the blast, and the force sends her sprawling backward, crashing into a stack of metalwork. The blacksmith, patrons, and Alara all sh stare at you in shock and anger. The once lively atmosphere of the smithy <laughs> is replaced by tension and confusion. Okay. Well, have fun, Ben. <laughs> I'm just going to type it out in silence so those who are watching will know the suspense. More waiting in suspense. Oh, no. Oh. Here we go. Oh. All right. So, oh, I ruined it. All right. <clears throat> now that I have your attention, I say smugly. Greetings, everyone. I'm here to save you from your burdens. I transform into an archdevil. There's an oppressive force in the city. I am here to save you. I conjure gold in front of everyone. Who is interested in what I have to say? All right. Have it there. So... Uh, your sudden transformation into an archdevil <laughs> leaves the patrons of the smithy stunned and terrified. The atmosphere shifts from confusion to fear as they witness your demonic form and the omnis... Yeah. Omnis... Omnis? <laughs> Already distracted. And dyslexia. <laughs> omnis <laughs> proclamation. Dyslexic at the same time. Uh, the blacksmith, recovering from the shock, cowers behind the counter. Seeing you with a... Uh, a mixture of dread and disbelief. Alara, still recovering from the thunder wave, struggles to get back on her feet, now eyeing you warily. All right, Taylor. All right. I cast Time Stop and steal everything out of the shop. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to rob this poor little dwarf, man. 
Uh, then just teleport away. Does he have the same drawback as your hero? No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a D&D D spell. He teleports. Read the rules. <laughs> as you cast Time Stop, the world around you freezes in place. With time temporarily halted, you swiftly move through the frozen scene, looting the smithy of valuable items and treasures. The blacksmith patrons and Al- Alara remain motionless, unaware of your actions. Gathering your ill-gotten gains, you teleport out of the shop, leaving behind... You bewildered and alarmed scene. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, Devin. All right, Devin, your <laughs> turn. Where did we teleport to? <laughs> oh, so since we're doing jet, jet, wow, chat. chat, GPT. So can I just like make up where, where we land? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We are smack dab in the middle of the scary forest. Right dead center, right in the middle. What do I see? What do I see? I keep see? forgetting we have to add in those prompts and stuff for this. No. Yeah. <clears throat> As you materialize in the heart of the forest of shadows, the air is thick with an eerie stillness. The ancient trees loom overhead, their gnarled branches casting twisted shadows on the forest floor. The dense foliage makes it challenging to see far into the distance. An mysterious mist hangs low, creating an otherworldly atmosphere. As you take in your surroundings, you notice a faint glow deeper within the forest, drawing your attention. The soft sound of rustling leaves and the distant whispers fill the air, adding to the mysterious ambience. Ooh. Oh, man. Nice. Yep, them woods be scary. Okay. I'm going to say I take a deep breath in and gag the smell of life is repulsive the smell of life is repulsive uh, oh yeah we're in the devil now <laughs> I cast teleport on Ilara and bring her to me here's what I said I take a deep breath in and gag the smell of life is repulsive I cast teleport on Ilara and bring her to me hello child I say are you ready to pledge fealty? <laughs> oh. The smell of the forest of shadows overwhelms you, your senses, as you cast teleport to bring Alara to your location. In a blink, she appears before you, disoriented and confused. Fealty? She asks, her brow furrowed. What in the nine hells is going on? Where are we? All right, Taylor. I look her dead in the eye and I go, are you ready for your payment for the barf? And then I light the entire forest on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't care if it's scary. It's getting lit up. What happens when you drink too much and bar follow someone you don't know? This, this is your... Uh, the, the word just left my brain. <laughs> uh, payment, or demise, whatever, your choice. Okay, are you ready, Devin? Because this is going to get intense. Hit me with it. All right, I look her in the eye of the seriousness of a devil. Are you ready for your payment? I cast a magnificent display of firewall and burn the entire forest on fire. I light the entire forest on fire. Do you see what you've done, child? Drinking has consequences. Oh, I forgot to put, <laughs> see what happens when you barf on me. Here we go. Alara's eyes widen in shock and horror as the flames roar to life, engulfing the ancient trees and transforming the once serene forest of shadows into an ablazing inferno. The crackling fire and the billowing smoke create chaos and destruction in its wake. Now behold the consequences of your actions you proclaim in the devilish grin using a fiery display to intimidate her. All right. Oh my. <laughs> what if that's the end for that one? No, the we could keep going. Well no no no. I, I mean I mean for the what it yeah. rendered. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the end. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> the options it uh, gives are hilarious. What are they? So let's hear them. Re- I'm curious. Revel in the chaos and continue the charade to manipulate Alara further. Confess your role in the forest fire and offer an explanation, regardless of the consequences. Or, 
Realize the severity of your actions. Extinguish the flames if possible and seek a more constructive resolution. Screw that, chat GPT. <laughs> well, since we're evil already, I don't know if we can get away with this, but uh, <clears throat> uh, can we manipulate her to just walk right into the forest? <laughs> uh, yeah. How you, do you want to do that? What are you going to say? You can cast Give command. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Cast okay. I cast command to walk into the forest. That is no. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I know it went from a friendly chat and jesting to now you're going to walk into the flames of your own making. It's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Way to go, Taylor. As you cast, That's all as you take, cast take command it. and issue the direction, Alara, under the influence of your magical command, begins to walk toward, walk forward. Her eyes fixed on the roaring flames ahead. She moves mechanically, seemingly unable to risk the compulsion. The flames dance and lick at the surroundings, creating a perilous path for Alara to transverse. Have fun. Call, <laughs> brother. Do we save her, <laughs> or do we? I don't know what to do. She did not buy don't everything. Don't worry. If you don't, I have something. I've got something on my turn. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Oh. I remove... I remove the spell command. Okay. Alara, my sweet child. Join me. And we can correct this wrong. Let me take your soul. Oh. And I will give you oh. power beyond imagine. Not even gonna say I will be forgiven. Join me or perish. <laughs> there we go. We that basically was. become Satan. <laughs> I actually have a theory yeah. about this. Perfect. Okay. As you release the command spell and deliver your... Omnis. Omnis. I, I don't... Ominous. Oh my gosh. I can't speak. Ominous <laughs> proposition. Alara, now free from the magical compulsion, takes a step back, her eyes narrowing with a mix of fear and defiance. The flames behind her cast an eerie glow on her face as she assesses the situation. You must be out of your mind, she retorts, her voice steady despite the chaos around. I won't be a part of your twisted games. If you think threats will make me join you, you're sorely mistaken. Oh, All right, Taylor. Defiant one she is. I know what I want to do, but I think Chad GPT is going to get mad. Here, we'll try it. <laughs> if not, we can just edit the prompt, right? <laughs> it's pretty violent. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of nervous, though. All right. I grab her by the face. And I cast Fireball down her throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, spicy meat the ball. Okay, can we get someone to animate this, please? I do it myself, but I have no time. Please, someone animate it, I beg you. Can I add some flair? <laughs> yeah, go for it. So I grab her up by the face and lift her up to my eye level. What a pathetic creature. I lick her cheek and cast Fireball down her throat. What does Chad GPT oh, it works! <laughs> it works! Yeah. Oh, the, we broke the it. The sudden and vicious assault takes Alara by surprise as you grab her and deliver a chilling threat. The fiery blast from the fireball spell engulfs her, causing searing pain and leaving her coughing and gasping for breath. The forest rages on, fueled by the chaos unfolding before it. How is she alive? I don't think she is. Oh, she's gasping <laughs> for breath. <laughs> All right, Devin. It's like she just had a really, really spicy taco. Um, <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> I. Oh, I'm going to. Or we're going to create a very good revenge story. So I want to turn away from her and leave her to be engulfed in the forest. And we walked right out of the forest. Oh, I like it. I like that. Possibly, she could live. More than likely not, but there's a possibility. 
and how good of a revenge story. She, she'd probably come out looking like Anakin. But, I hate you! <laughs> Arms come out. Yeah. Did somebody say chocolate? <laughs> chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. I always hated it. Wow, this went from like zero to a thousand <laughs> real quick. We went from, <laughs> hey, remember me from the nightclub to I am Satan. <laughs> Okay. Bow to me. As you turn away from Alara and walk out of the forest, the chaotic scene of destruction and fire behind you, you leave her battered and injured in the midst of the turmoil. The flames cast long shadows on the scorched ground as you make your exit. The forest of shadows, now a blazing inferno, resonates with the consequences <laughs> of your actions. Yeah. Didn't we technically solve a problem, though, if it was an evil forest and now it's gone? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... Okay. Full circle. Oh, I transform good. into an old lady. And teleport... What was the name of the inn? The red something. I, I scrolled up. I can't remember now. The tavern. Red, red tavern. No, it was... A oh, red dragon inn. Red, red dragon. dragon. Dope name. I teleport to the red dragon then. I walk in and ask in a loud voice. Has anyone seen a fellow whistling a romantic tune? <laughs> Alright, Taylor. Yeah, did you see that guy? It was crazy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, what is As you transform into an old lady and teleport back to the Red Dragon Inn, the patrons glance at you curiously. Your sudden appearance as an elderly figure raises I. <laughs> oh man, I teleported into the inn instead of walking in. Oh. Oops, <laughs> your sudden appearance oh. <laughs> as an elderly figure raises eyebrows and stirs a murmur of conversation. When you ask about a fellow whistling a romantic tune, the barkeep, Wiped, <laughs> wiped a mug with a rag and looks up and points to the corner table. You just missed him. Whistling in, asked for a guide, and left with a ranger named Alara. Quite the odd pair, if you ask me. Little do they know. This is so fun. <laughs> Alright, Taylor. Who is this Alara? Did she mean, it mean anything to you? Barkeep looks at you with a so thoughtful far. expression. Alara is a ranger who frequents this place, skilled with a bow, and knows her way around the wilderness. Nice enough gal to keep herself mostly. Can't say she means much to me. Just another customer. She didn't mean much to us either. Oh good, she's dead now. He continues wiping the mug, glancing around the tavern. The two of them mentioned something about heading to the Forest of Shadows. Said they were on a quest of sorts. Strange business, if you ask me. Come on, Devin. You didn't. <laughs> it. Oh, I'm going down. to. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you said it's called the Red Dragon Inn, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I know where this is going. I want you, I want you to ask the barkeep, so, you like red dragons, do you? <laughs> and then I transform into a giant red dragon. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's ancient. <laughs> Yeah. An ancient yeah. red dragon. Yes. Good. Oh, good <laughs> this guy's going to have one heck of a day. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, it's also kind of funny that Ben almost quite literally caught his place on fire, and now everything we've done so far has been catching things on fire. Maybe, maybe that's why fire is on fire. <laughs> yeah, and we're manifesting. <laughs> if, okay. <laughs> Everyone is... If, if you're just frustrated, just play D and D with Chat GPT and just get out all your anger. It's, it's a good coping mechanism. Really? All right. Uh, it's yeah. pretty good. I asked the barkeep. Too much rainbow six seeds. <laughs> Chat GPT. Seriously, I asked the barkeep. Do you like red dragons? Do you? I transform into an ancient red dragon. Okay. The barkeep's eyes widen in shock as you undergo a dramatic transformation, turning into an ancient red dragon. The patrons in the tavern scream and scramble, some knocking over the chairs in their haste to flee. The entire atmosphere changes, fear gripping the place. The, gar the barkeep 
now trembling, manages to stammer. What in the hell is going on? Who are you? <laughs> I, I got it. I whisper. Any guesses? I am Jeff. <laughs> Dead. Oh, so close. From the Hobbit. I am fire. I am death. Death. Yeah, I do the last yeah. line. I can't remember the first line. All right. I'm gonna say. Yeah. So we're a red smog, basically. I unleash. Smog. However you say his name. A torrent of flames in the inn. All right. The sudden eruption of flames within the inn sends patrons screaming and scrambling for safety. The barkeep, now terrified, looks in horror as the once lively red dragon inn transformed into a chaotic scene of panic and destruction. As the fire consumes the surroundings, you feel a surge of power and control reveling into the chaos you've unleashed. Oh my goodness. This has taken a turn. Oh. I fly to the castle. Oh. It crash into the th uh, throne room. <laughs> Here we go. Here's what happens next. As you break through the ceiling of the inn and take to the skies, your massive form dominating the night, you fly towards the castle. With powerful beats of your wings, you crash through the castle's walls into the throne room. The majestic, the once majestic throne, now in disarray. The guards and um, couriers caught off guard by your sudden entrance, scatter in fear. All right, Devin. I. Let's see. In a thundering voice, I say, Look at me. I am the king now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. I am the king now. And then I take the crown right off the king's head and put it on top of our own. Teeny little baby crown. Your thundering voice echoes through the throne room as you declare your newfound authority. The guards and courtier oh, courtiers. Still recovering from the shock, bow before you in fear. The king, dethroned and helpless, watches in disbelief as you pluck the crown from his head and place it atop your own. The room falls silent and the air is thick with tension. I start whistling a romantic tune, romantic and lively tune, and tell everyone to dance. As the enchanting tune fills the air, the once tense atmosphere of the throne room transforms. The guards, courtiers, and even the dethroned king find themselves compelled to dance to the lively rhythm of your melody. The room, once filled with fear, now becomes a surreal da dance floor. The courtiers twirl, the guards shuffle their feet, and the dethroned king reluctantly joins the dance, unable to resist the magical compulsion. What is happening? <laughs> I turn and I chuckle and I go, oh, I love playing with my food. And then I torch the room. <laughs> oh my. I really did. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, this is Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> I wonder what the theme is. Could it be fire? No. Couldn't be. It's ice, actually. This is the ice it's kingdom. I turn and chuckle. I love playing with my food. I unleash a torrent of flame into the room, leaving none alive. The once lively dance floor transforms into a nightmarish scene as you unleash a torrent of flame upon the courtiers, guards, and the dethroned king. The flames consume everything in their path, leaving behind charred remnants of the throne room. As the fire subsides, the room falls silent. The dance abruptly halted, and the air heavy with the stench of burning flesh. <laughs> well, I think we got I around the violence barrier. I know exactly what to do. Do it. So, just when all seems to be deathly, you know, everything's dead. Our ranger from earlier... Bust through the door, holding 
the legendary Dragon's Bane sword. And screams, ENOUGH! I'm, I'm Wait, curious. Come back. I'm curious to see. Choices for ourselves. I'm curious to see what happens though. I just thought of it. I was like, because you said you wanted her to come back. I'm like, what would be better than one final battle? Oh crap! Oh, I accidentally clicked enter. Here we go. I think we're reaching our climax. The undeterred by the chaos and destruction, burst into the throne room wielding the legendary Dragonbane sword. The flames flicker in the reflection of the blade as she confronts you with a determined gaze. Enough! She screams, her voice echoing through the scorched remains of the throne room. I chuckle and transform into Alara's little sister. My dear sister, help me. He turned me into a dragon. Clever. Your transformation into Lyra's little sister catches her off guard. She lowers the dragon's vein sword. Confusion and concern evident in her eyes. Uh, my dear sister, help me. He turned me into a dragon, you plead, mimicking the voice and appearance of Alara's sibling. Alara hesitates, her emotions conflicting as she looks at the supposed transformed sister. Cast yeah. Meteor Storm. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> and say, oh, I'm sorry. Did I distract you as I turned back into my original human uh, part? So. I see what you did there. Did I distract you? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm. Cute little laugh. Just. <laughs> Please, someone animate this. How is this gonna end? The suspense. This is the climax. In one, let's see, what's a good way to word this? In one final desperate attempt, as meteors are raining down, with a mighty hurl, she throws the sword, aiming for our chest. But you're not a Lara. <laughs> I am now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it I just want to see if it'll actually do it. Okay. Devin, Devin, Devin's looking at chat, chat GPT and going, look at me. I am the DM now. <laughs> hey, look at me. I am the DM now. I just want to see if we can get away with it, because it's let us get away with so much so far. <laughs> Oh, there we go. As meteors fall and chaos reigns, Alara, driven by desperation, hurls the legendary Dragonbane sword at your chest. The blade hurtles through the air, aiming for this decisive blow amidst the calamity. I cast Teleport on Alara to put her in front of the sword. <laughs> yes! As Alara hurls the dragon's vein... Yeah, so as her all... As Alara, oh my gosh, hurls the dragon vein sword towards you, you swiftly cast teleport, redirecting her to appear directly in front of the path of the oncoming weapon. The sword pierces through her, and a gasp of pain, her eyes wide in shock and betrayal. The meteors continue to rain down upon the town, amplifying the chaos and destruction. Throwing my head oh. back, I laugh hysterically as I pull my VR headset off and say, Wow, that's a really interesting new game! <laughs> Uh. <laughs> it's all VR. <laughs> Do you know how fun D and D would be in VR though? Like for real? Right? Oh, that'd be so good. Okay. Oh, Imagine Baldur's Gate three first person VR. Oh, so good. A wave of relief washes over you as you realize the intense and fantastical events were part of a virtual reality game. With a chuckle, you remove your VR headset, returning to the real world. That was quite an adventure, you muse, appreciating the immersive experience the game provided. You then grab the car keys and head off to your local bar whistling a romantic tune. <laughs> the end. Yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Came full circle, full circle, baby! <laughs> circle. <laughs> the virtual yeah. adventure behind uh with the ad virtual adventure behind you you grab your car keys and head off to the local bar still humming to the romantic tune from the game 
The real world surroundings feel familiar. The contrast between the virtual and tangible experiences is both amusing and refreshing. As you enter the bar, the atmosphere is lively, and the sound of chatter and clinking glasses fill the air. You find a seat and continue to whistle the romantic tune, blending the remnants of the virtual adventure with the real world ambience. Get the corner table and sit next to the woman alone. <laughs> Go. Alara, is it? I say it's bad for you. I say with a wink. The end. The woman in the corner looks up Beautiful. to you, her eyes meeting you as you sit down beside her. Alara, is it? You say with a wink, adding a touch of mystery to the real world encounter. Oh, it continues on. Oh, actually, no. The woman chuckles. Alara, no, that's not me. But the name sounds intriguing. What brings you to the bar tonight? And so, the story takes an unexpected turn into a real-world encounter, leaving the possibilities wide for new adventures. The end, indeed. If you have any more questions or scenarios, feel free to ask. Enjoy your real-world adventures. Oh my goodness. That was, that was so that was good. good. I'm surprised wow. we got around the violence barrier for that. Yeah, That's incredible. I, I, I hope... legitimately did not think casting... Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I just didn't think casting fireball into someone's mouth would work. It. I thought ChatGPT was gonna be like, ah. It did. I found out you can do that <laughs> if you word it specifically, and if it's like a a D and D game. Uh, I hope the the developers don't see this. <laughs> and they're like, oh, <laughs> right. But yeah, we gotta fix that. Uh -huh. There we go. Man, that went so evil all of a sudden. But hey, it kind of had a cool ending, I think. I, it huh? ended good. Good okay. ending. It was just someone getting out their anger issues on a VR game. Yeah. Wrong with that. Yeah. It's a dream within yeah. a dream. Video games, great stress reliever. Right. There's the lesson to be learned from all the destruction and chaos. Get Somehow a lesson a was fake learned. Fake universe, not a real one. But perfect. And there you go. But that's it for this Dream week. Time lesson. <laughs> that, that was good. I think we might need to do a part two to this. Oh, that would be sweet. Right. Or do sure. do another one sometime. That was that was good, Ben. There we go. Yeah, feel free to do this on your own, people. You can waste hours. Tell Heck us yeah. about your adventures that you have with ChatGPT. Mine. We'd love to hear them. Really. What happened? Did it go as chaotically as ours? Granted, that was um, my fault. Yeah, or I, I kind of a happy, righteous adventure. No, I took the, the whole devil thing, so. Kind of same scenario, but there was a different forest. It was the Feywild you had to go to, and there was this crown and this mysterious person leading me to the crown. I got the crown, and the person took off their hood, and it was the queen, and then I turned into a devil and did an illusion of <laughs> her family in front of her, like, happy, and I said, you know, if you swear fealty to me, you know, I can bring peace to the land. Just give me your power. <laughs> and she says, I can't do that. And then I changed the illusion of all her kids dying in front of her. And then she swore <laughs> fealty to me. We went to the next town, proclaimed to be saviors of the town, had them join our side. I took all their souls. And with those peasants, we stormed the capital and took over. Oh, my wow. gosh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> D&D. But, well, um, there you go. Sit with that however you feel like. <laughs> it's, I have a theory. It's, uh, when given the power to do whatever you want, most people turn masochistic. It's true. Yeah. No consequences. That, yeah. Get the violence out. Yeah. I don't know how we end it usually. Sorry, I'm new. <laughs> Sign us off however, my friend. <laughs> Smash that like button. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you Thank go. you, everyone, for listening. Hopefully you have fun on, on your own adventures. And I hope you had a good laugh, and stay tuned for next week. Next week, my Yes, and crack. again, let us know what happens when you play with it, because you never know with ChatGPT. Yeah. Bye, everybody. See Bye-bye.